guys, it's a great thing to know that you guys are fine, and I hope you are. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about microstructure. So what I'm behaving here on my table, here on my table, is three samples. These three samples originally were one, all right? So it came like that, you can check, this is rough. It came like that. After that, I went and polished to become like this, like a mirror. Then from there, I went and etched it lightly. Last time I showed how you can etch macro, but this is micro. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my machine here, which you call microscope. So with my microscope, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my micro there, then I'm gonna check the structure. I'm gonna check the structure, and then from there, what I'm doing is I'm gonna put it at 100 magnification there, and then 200. 200 and then there I'm gonna check it and see how my structure is on the, the micro in the micro measurement so now I'm gonna put it on my screen there we go there is how my micro is so this is a normal austenitic steel so you can see you can tell by the grain so that's grain there that's grain there that's shape there as a hexagonal shape six sides that's how you can tell so actually this is a, a typical stainless steel by telling that so let's go together i'm going to show you something here so here you can see this is a ferrite and pellite structure this kind of steel is the one that they use when they have to do railway Matastic structure. So matasite is the one that is hard most of the time. Matasite is hard when you have to check the hardness of matasite. It's in the range of 60 HRC, 60, 60 hardness or core C. This one is used most of the time when you have to make knives. Okay, weaponry. They use matasite most of the time. So this one here is austenite. So you can tell, as I said, you can tell by the grain the shape. By the shape of the grain, you can tell if austenite if it, uh, austenite steel. Check there. If you check, we can count the sides of this grain. You realize the, that there are six, 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 and then from there you can tell. So this one is a typical stainless steel, and then this one is used when in, a, in places where there is high chance of corrosion. That's where you use stainless steel, that's where you use austenite steel. So, austenite steel is a face centered structure. Martensite is a body centered structure. Ferrite is, is body -centered, centered structure. structure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, now what I'm having here is dendritic structure. This one is seen mostly when you've worked the place after what is the place so you can see that you can see those ones those white spots they comes from the run of fluid metal so they don't solidify at the same time so what happens is they don't solidify at the same time so they remain liquid until they solidify and then you can see as if this kind of runs a kind of river i forgot some to say something here if mountain sides is needle like structure what i'm saying needle like structure you can see it's like needle like small needles there in the structure like small needles small needles there so that's mountain sides so this one here what you see there this ferrite and then what you see there that is the light so it's ferrite plus penite structure on this one. So it's matastic structure on that one. So it's austenitic structure in here. And then it's dendrite structure. That's the okay. So I hope that you guys like the video. Technicians as uh, engineers, it's very good to know what structures are. In the future you might use it or might be a uh, 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 cost people to keep on it or you might or you might like to be talking about it so yeah so i think i shared 
what I ate and uh, I'm happy with it and uh, thank you so much if you guys like the video just come up if you don't like it don't say a thing